It's about to go down over $20. You better get ready. Pull up your high chair, put your goddamn bib on, suck on your pacifier, and open your goddamn ears. Cause I got something to say. I got a story to tell. I got exposed to ex- I got people- I got- I got people to expose. You think you can just come around here and f with me? You think I'm gonna order a goddamn pizza and not get it? Think you're gonna take my money and run? I don't think so. You're gonna get exposed. 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 You gonna get it. I just realized I've never exposed anybody before. But does that really matter? These are gonna get exposed. Exposed. Pizza sale. Pizza sale. Put them together, what do you get? Pizza sale. Otherwise known as Mixed Greens Pizza. My favorite pizza of all time. Yeah, that's right. My favorite kind of pizza has a salad on top of it instead of regular shit. Salad. Delicious, delicious salad. Mixed Greens Pizza. You would never know that a lot of chicken comes on that. Not vegetarian at all. There's a lot of chicken. Why am I telling you this? Don't worry, it has to do with the exposed thing. As some of you might know, I am a manager at a store. At this store that I manage, sometimes I get hungry and other people, they get hungry. So sometimes I take it upon myself to order some food for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like that. I'm the good guy. This day, I'm at work and I'm hungry. So what do I do? I order some pizza. And how do people order pizza? In 2017, how? On the internet. So I use the internet and order a pizza, which I've done so many times before. But this time was different. This time I got an error message saying that my payment didn't process. So me, being the guy that I am, I'm like, oh shit, I probably don't have enough money because I'm poor as fuck. So I check my bank account. I have plenty of money. But guess what? I had less money. I had less. I had just just less money as the amount of pizza I had just ordered. So what do I do? <sighs> Try and put the order through again because I'm fucking hungry. I want this goddamn pizza. And now whatever do I get? Insufficient funds. Something that I've seen many many times before. So I'm just like, what the? F okay, they prob probably got the order. Let's just call to make sure, right? You know, just call to make sure they're making the goddamn pizza because they have the money. But guess what happens when I call? They say they don't have the order and they don't have the money. So I'm all like, well, you took the money. It's not in my account anymore. And they're basically all like, well, we don't have it. So we're not going to give you a pizza. Why would we give you a pizza? So I'm like, let's fix this here. You have my money. Just send me a goddamn pizza. At this point, Another person came on the phone. It was the manager. Now we're talking manager E manager. Big boss people. And I'm like, yo, what's up, big boss man? I need a pizza. And this man was very rude, okay? He was very rude to me. You know what he said? He call, called me called me by a different name. A name that wasn't my name. A different name than what my mom had given me when I was born. Not my name. And I was like, that's not my name. Who are you talking to? Where'd you get, where'd you get, where'd you get that name from? That's not my name. So after we sorted out the name situation, we got to the nitty gritty. And I was like, I need a pizza. You have my money. I need a pizza. And he's like, we don't have your money. And I'm like, well, the company that you work for has my money. I would like a pizza. So after we go back and forth for about goddamn five minutes, they're like, okay, we'll call corporate and see what we can do. So I'm like, all right. So they put me on hold. I'm waiting. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting a little bit. And then I'm waiting a lot of bit. And I'm like, what the hell? So I'm like, hello? And the phone cuts out. It just cuts out. So what do I do? I call back. Hello? And it, they hung up on me. What? What? They definitely didn't just do that. Hello? They hung up on me. Okay, they're hanging up on me now. So what do I do? <laughs> I keep calling. Bloop. Hey, oh yeah, yeah, it's Ryan. Oh yeah, Ryan. Uh, yeah, we were just waiting for a call from corporate. Yeah, why do you, yeah, why do you keep hanging up on me though? Doesn't make a lot of sense. So I'm like, please call me back today. I would like a pizza today. I haven't even gotten to where I'm gonna be exposing these Cause while I was waiting for them to get back to me, I had a little suspicion that they probably weren't even doing that. So what I did was tweet at Pizonis on the internet and say, hey, need some help, uh, DM me. Something like that. Something, something along those lines. And within like 10 goddamn seconds, I had a follow and a mention saying, we can't DM you. It's because I haven't followed them yet. So I followed them and DM them. And here's what happened. I explained to them 
the situation. I explained that my money's gone. The people at Paizonis had refused to re refund the money or give me the pizza, and I ended up with saying I would just like my mixed greens pizza with no olives. Quickly, they responded and wanted to know which store I had ordered from, so I sent them the information. Then, they asked me for an email confirmation, which I could not supply. I didn't get the confirmation, I just got the money taken out of my account. I'm not getting a pizza, there's no confirmation. But then I get a, a, a DM that reads, can you just send us your credit card statement so we can see what went wrong? So I'm like, yeah, sure, definitely. Go back onto my bank statement because I had already checked that the money was taken out. Oh, lo and behold, the money is in my account. It's in there. So I reply and I say, oh, uh, it looks like the money's back in my account. Uh, I really hope that wasn't because you guys had to call them. So at this moment, it's been about three hours since I wanted to eat some food and I'm still dealing with this. So I DM them again and I'm like, I think I should be compensated with a large mixed greens pizza for my troubles. They reply and say, it was just a technical error, just order it again. I just waited three hours. This manager was rude to me. I would just, just, can I just have a pizza? I don't know, I just, can I just have a pizza, man? Just let me have a pizza. Long story long, they said, because it's not a corporately owned store, they can't send me a pizza, but they can send me a $20 gift card. All right. So I send them my address. And, and I said, when can I expect? I got a reply. We'll send it out tomorrow morning. So it should be there by the end of the week. And I reply, thank you. So a week goes by. <laughs> and I still haven't had my mixed greens pizza. So I, tw so I DM and I say, I still have not received. No response. Dead silence. Nothing. And that was like four days ago. So today, I do it again. I'm just like, you know, still waiting on that coupon. When can I expect it? I sent that right before I got into work. I'm on break at work, and I'm like, let me check. Let me check my DMs, see if anybody's slid in my DMs. And I see that Paisonis hasn't responded, but I also cannot message them anymore. I'm like, oh, all right, weird. So I go to the Paisonis Twitter page, and holy f they blocked me. Instead of sending me out a $20 gift card, they forgot and blocked me. Me. They blocked me over $20 gift card. Why don't you just send me the goddamn gift card? Make it right. Here's the $20 gift card. And then they were like, actually, wait. Wait, this kid's got 24,000 subscribers, but he only gets like 200 views. <laughs> this mother <laughs> blocked that mother Okay, let's keep the 20 bucks. That's only what I could assume what was happening at corporate at that moment. I didn't want to have to do this, okay? I just wanted my goddamn mixed greens pizza with no olives. And do you know? That Paisonis puts all their coupons on Twitter? Now I can't even get the coupons if I want to order Paisonk. Don't tell people. You're going to recompensate them for their troubles with a $20 gift card for some pizza. And then just not give them the $20 gift card. Block them and think it's going to go away. This is the internet. I don't want to cause a big ruck. All I want is the mixed greens pizza or a $20 gift card to buy the, the, the mixed greens pizza is $20.50, okay? So it's not even enough for a pizza. I just want a pizza, and I need your help. Since I cannot tweet at Paisonis and ask for a pizza, I need you. They need to know that I'm hungry. They aren't gonna cast me away like this. We're gonna unite, become strong, and we're gonna spam the out of the Paisonis Twitter. I'm gonna get that goddamn gift card, but I need your help. Link to the Paisonis Twitter down below. Thanks everybody for watching, really appreciate it. I just wanna let Paisonis know that Ryan Holmes is hungry.